Even when the world around us shows no evidence of hope, when we can't tell if God is working, when all seems to be lost, God says that He is saving a remnant of faithful people in a corrupt culture. In 1 Kings 19, we find Elijah running from Jezebel, fearful of the corrupt culture that he finds himself in, overwhelmed because of the loneliness of the fight for God's kingdom. Led by an angel, Elijah makes his way to Mount Sinai, seeking the Lord. As he looks for God, various miraculous events begin to unfold. A strong wind comes from nowhere, the earth begins to shake and break open, and monstrous flames appear. But while Elijah expected to hear the Lord's voice in the chaotic forces around him, in the wind, in the earthquake, or in the fire, God instead made himself known in a gentle whisper. And the whisper said, what are you doing here, Elijah? Elijah replied again to God, I have zealously served the Lord God Almighty, but the people of Israel have broken their covenant with you, torn down your altars, and killed every one of your prophets. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. 1 Kings 19, 14. God's reply is one that is promised to us as well. He speaks to Elijah of the justice that he will bring upon the people whose backs are turned to him. But he also restores Elijah's hope saying, I will preserve 7,000 others in Israel who have never bowed down to Baal. Throughout scripture, this group that is set apart from the corrupt culture has been known as the remnant. Even in our culture, God has saved a remnant for himself. You are not alone. The church, the body of Christ, is called to stand apart, faithful in a corrupt culture, and God has a plan for this remnant in America. Even when the world around us shows no evidence of hope, when we can't tell if God is working, when all seems to be lost, God says that he is saving a remnant of faithful people in a corrupt land.